We walk everywhere. Walkability. Walkable. 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 Uh, what happened to all the people in America? Well, uh, they're in cars. They're all in cars. I'm Mark Newpert. I'm an anthropology professor at Oregon Tech. I often teach engineering students about the connection between the built environment and what it's like to live in it as humans, how we build our city and how it affects our lives. I'm here in the city of Leiden in the Netherlands to look at what makes a walkable city walkable. Not just the arrangement of buildings and the narrowness of the streets and things like that, but it's also the culture, the history, and how people interact with the city. Right here in Leiden, in 1200 AD, this river was bridged. And since that beginning, Leiden has built, been built as a walkable, human-centered city. An anthropologist works by moving into and living and participating in the society that they want to study. Participant observation. So I, with my family, live just down the street, that tall building on the right. City planners took perhaps one of the most dangerous intersections in the city and took out all traffic signage, control, whatever. It's all gone and they narrowed it down, put people in it, and now from the outside it looks totally chaotic, but it's become one of the safest intersections of the world. I like coming back to Leiden because this place feels different when you live in it. There's lots of people, there's walking, there's biking, there's great parties and public spaces. It's a fantastic place for humans to live, mainly because they've pushed the cars outside, because this is an old walkable city designed for people since its very beginnings and still is for people today. I've also been looking at how people use public spaces and rituals and ceremonies to create a sense of community. Often people say walkable cities, you feel like you belong, you have a better connection to the rest of society. But how does that work? How do people use this urban design to improve the health of their society? Been here two months already and already having adventures and learning new things. Behind me is the Hoglenzekirk, and up in its attic, there are hams. Come check that out.